a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before. Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cuisine! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day. Using all their senses, skills, creativity, they're to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If my memory serves me correctly, there is a German chef who has worked in some of the top kitchens around the world, and who now lives on the outskirts of Tokyo. When he was in France, he served as the cook to the mayor of Paris, and in Cannes, he was dubbed the king of sauces. But now he is in Tokyo, running a small place of his own. Yes, this German chef is today's challenger. He's German-born, but a genius in the art of French cuisine. Owner-chef of Chez Sylvia, Arthur J. Ruter. Ruter was accepted into a national cooking academy in Germany at the age of 14 and acquired the basics of French food. After graduation, he left for Switzerland, gaining experience at a first-class restaurant. By the following year, he was on a German cruise ship serving the rich and famous. At age 23, he landed a job as head chef in Cannes, the mecca for film stars. There, he created menus for many big movie stars, such as Jerry Lewis, Bridget Bardot, and a host of others, and became a bit of a celebrity himself. Then, suddenly, at 24, Ruta decided to go on a mission, collecting the finest recipes from around the world. In just one year, he visited over 20 countries on his recipe hunt, and meanwhile, he cooked for discerning VIPs in each country. And when he returned to France, he was asked by the mayor of Paris to become his exclusive chef. It was then that he got married to a charming Japanese lady, Kyoko. At 32, they returned to his homeland, Germany, and opened their own place. I have confidence in making original sauces. Yes, absolute confidence. Then, in 1987, he opened Chez Sylvia on the outskirts of Tokyo, serving globally influenced French cuisine. But it did not become popular right away. Initially, only the embassy crowd came all the way from downtown Tokyo to enjoy his work. His kitchen is more like a studio of an artisan or craftsman. And when Ruta is planning the food he'll serve that day, he always starts by sketching out the dishes. The finished works themselves are as beautiful as artists' paintings, and they speak of his lifetime experience, taking French food as a base and coloring it with the essences of world cuisine. Now, Ruta, take your palette of colors from around the world and paint us a picture that does justice to your art. I'll give it my very best. I'm ready to go!
Today's challenger coming in here with a very impressive set of credentials. Proof of that can be seen in the royal box. Attendees from both the French and German embassies are here today. The challenger's cooking draws raves from folks in both countries. And also with us today is actress Cosco Cato. Welcome to the show. Nice to be here. Your second time to join us. Right. And lucky again, another great chef. Yeah, I'm looking forward to his dishes. Please enjoy. Thank you. And our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hattori, is here. Always a pleasure. All right, let's bring them on, Chairman Kaga. Deutsch umare no French chef. Toyu, osoru beki profile wo motta chosen shanga yatte maerimashita. Shikamo, French dake dewa akitarazu, sekai issue no ryori shugyo o nashitoge. しかも彼独自のヨーロッパ料理を極めたというから楽しみではありますさあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください世界の料理を極めたドイツ人アルトレタ Globetrotting German who has French cuisine in his blood marching into the stadium with his worldwide culinary exploration continuing he exudes confidence ようこそいらっしゃいました え、聞くところによりますとあなたの顧客リストにはジェリーロイスとかブリジットバルドというその大物俳優が名を連ねているそうですがその中にあのあの端っこでいいですから私加賀武の名前も刻んでいただけますでしょうかまあ、of course 我が美食アカデミーが誇る3人の鉄人を登場させましょう。蘇るがいい、アイアンシェフ。Ascending into Kitchen Stadium, the nation's culinary leaders, your Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. Here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills. ドイツ人のあなたにきっぱりと選んでもらいましょうさあドイツと戦うミチバミチバ is the one Ruter going for the Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba his style of Japanese cooking incorporates the use of ingredients from around the world creative inventive a maestro and a maverick of Japanese cuisine today challenged by a German chef who's created his own internationalized version of French food 世界の料理を知り尽くした男にふさわしい素材は何か私は今までで最高に悩みましたそして悩みすぎて頭が空っぽになった時にあの素材を思い浮かべたのです中身が空っぽの野菜といえばあれです今日は色とりどり発色を揃えましたそれでは発表しましょう今日のテーマはこれです If my memory serves me correctly, the most popular bell pepper served in Europe is the red variety. Next is yellow, and then green. And there is a proverb about these three colors which goes like this. Green is for the king, red for the queen, and yellow for the prince. The green with a tang of bitterness is to the preference of men, hence king. Red with the sweetness of a fruit is popular amongst women, hence queen. And yellow, which has both of these characteristics, is for the prince, or so the saying goes. So let me repeat, green is for the king, red for the queen, and yellow for the prince. A chef who's worked with just about every ingredient used in cooking, Challenger Rutter. He'll make use of Kitchen Stadium stock of 280 different types of ingredients against Iron Chef Michiba. He too, adept with all kinds of items, should be quite a battle. So let's get it on! 
Out of Kazan! Bang a gong, we are on, and both men just a little slow getting out of the gate, and now they've got it going and skipping up the stairs to the stand. And up there, eight different colors of bell peppers. Didn't know they have that many. And what a battle this should be today. The well-traveled German against the Iron Chef, who always has the explorative outlook. And the bell peppers up there at the stand for this battle, they have been flown in from the Netherlands. Yeah, exactly. They've just arrived, too, I understand. Right. And I also just want to add that uh -huh. the different colors there taste different. They all have their unique taste. Interesting. Yeah. And examples of that is the purplish ones there. They can actually turn a little greenish if you cook them too long. Wow. And so you have to remember all these things when you're cooking them for your all recipes. Right. Both men back already working here. Rooter peeling the skin off this one. Wow, I didn't know that you could peel the skin. Yeah, and there's different ways of doing it. You can do it like this, or you can also dip them in hot water, or even a high temperature oil will help peel it off. Okay. Mm -hmm. And actually you can even char the surface, and that will work too. Mm -hmm. All right. And we'll just have to wait and see to. Okay, see well, when the theme them, yeah. was unveiled, it seemed that challenger Ruter had a positive reaction and couldn't get a read on Michiba, though. And here's the Iron Chef side. Yeah, this is his trademark broth. Broth of vigor, and here's a little queuing going on. Yeah, charring the bell peppers. I, I imagine that's for peeling the skin. Just for skin removal? That would be my guess, yeah. All right. I'm not too sure right now, but I okay, think so. Okay, we'll wait and see. And that's his wife there, right? Right, challenger's wife, Kyoko, here observing the proceedings at kitchen level. She's got a, a box seat or a box stand. You might say. I think she's doing a little translating too. Right, yes, to help Ruter communicate with his assistants. Right, he's not as fluent in Japanese as he is in German and French or even on English. The yeah. scene lending more than just moral support, some linguistic support, <laughs> right, support right. as well. Right. From yes, from the floor out to go. The challenger is starting his preparations with a fish called Ito Yori or Threadfin Bream. He also has potatoes, garlic, and filet mignon. All right, and what type of fish is that? It's, uh, well, flavor wise, similar to red snapper. Okay, and uh, ooh, you can hear the deep frying on the Iron Chef side. Yeah. Just a few minutes in, mm. since the gong banged and already deep frying away some bell peppers over there. Mm. And I really think this is just to make peeling the skin easier. I think you're right. Quickly out and dropped it into a bowl of water mm -hmm. there. Yeah. But uh, something seems amiss with him. Yeah, there's been no menu writing. That's it, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the challenger. Okay, challenger yeah. side here. This is the fish Oto was talking about. So threadfin bream is a fish with white meat. Right, exactly. All right, and also in the report, the filet mignon right there, and somehow to pair that up with the bell peppers today. Oh, lobster. Mm. Iron Chef getting down with lobster here. Yeah, that's a Japanese variety there. So the challenger's got a surf and turf on his side, while the Iron Chef's gone with the lobster tail. Right, that's Isayabi, yeah. Yes. Now now I have a list of ingredients found on the Iron Chef's side besides the Japanese lobster that you just saw. He has red snapper, matsutake mushrooms, and prawns. All right. And as a side note, out of the eight colors of bell peppers, he's chosen six. Red, yellow, purple, green, orange, and black. All right, got it. But still from Michiba, no menu, and normally that's the first thing he does. Yeah. Still on the lobster right there, but uh, without the menu, I wonder what's up with him today. Not too hasn't, sure. Hasn't gotten that going. <laughs> no. But uh, makes it just a bit more difficult for us to know where he's going with what he's making. Kusan. Yes. Yeah, I asked Challenger Ruter what he thinks about today's bell peppers, and he said they're so bright and colorful, I'd like to use those colors to create something representing autumn. Mm. And I would what guess I that think? with these colorful bell peppers, we'll see some very artistic presentations in the dishes from both men today, mm -hmm. the I Challenger and Michiba. But I'll tell you one thing. You see Ruter here in action, his expression, his movements, the way he works. This man does have an aura about him doing his job. Oh, no, definitely, yeah. All the great chefs have it, and he does too, and so does Michiba. The Iron Chef here, challenged by Arthur Ruter, German, who's got his own version of French cuisine, making his livelihood in Japan. Iron Chef now over at his food processor, adding some milk there to what he put in. Did, I'm not did you catch sure, what he, no. Okay, well, milk coming second there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the ingredient in the food processor that had already been whipped up, in addition to the milk just added, was yam potatoes. Oh, yams, that's yam, interesting. Yam, ma'am. Bell pepper <laughs> stuffed with yam potatoes. Too easy, huh? Uh, well, you never know. It could be. That would be good, actually. <laughs> All right. Michiba working away at, on that side. And Fukuisa? Yes. Yeah, our staff members noticed that Iron Chef Michiba is less talkative today, and so I asked him what he thinks about the bell peppers, the theme, and he quietly said, well, I guess they're okay, so just another day at the office? Mm -hmm. mm. Not too excited today, no. looks like. Not at all. Uh, is the challenger boiling all three colors that we see? I, I guess so, yeah. Sauteed and boiled. Right, we uh, saw him pan right, frying right. them in oil earlier, right? And now in water. So perhaps a mm. soup? Mm. That's not water, isn't that okay. a soup? Well, right uh, now he's got red, green, and 
purple in the three pots there. Right, yeah. But the pots are all different sizes, so one of them might be going for a sauce. Yeah. You could surmise that. That could very well be. Yes. This word from the challenger, Chef Ruter has just told us that we can look forward to three dishes from him today. Three dishes. All right, three dishes, that's it. Now here on the Iron Chef side. Okay, right now he's checking the salamander oven. I think that's red snapper. Broiled mm. red snapper. Yeah, they're they're being grilled with some sauce, I think. Okay, treated already, these pieces. Looks like there's something pasted on there, doesn't right, it? Right, now yeah. here he is mixing by hand with this one. So that's the yam potato. Sir, Looks mix good, a lot. Very <laughs> colorful. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I asked Iron Chef Mijibo what happened to his menu writing ritual, and he told me that it'll just have to wait till he does some of the prep work. Ota, he did say he would do it though, right? That was implied. All right, we'll wait for it. Thanks. So he didn't do anything to these, it looks like. Am I right? You're right, yeah. Just plain old bell peppers. Old red yeah. bell peppers in that pot. They have been peeled. Challenger Rooter's side, this is. Yeah, well, in Europe, they have recipes using bell peppers like this, boiling or stewing them just completely uh -huh. whole, yeah. Well, could he end up using these as some kind of bowl, perhaps? Oh, that's a that, thought. Yeah, that's a possibility, mm -hmm. sure. All right, now back with Michiba, and what's the story with this? Well, this is the yam potato out of the food processor, and now adding bell pepper to it. Okay, and the mix topping the bell pepper pieces. Fukuzan? Yes. Yeah, actually, this is cream cheese with anchovies mixed in. Back to you. Okay, I was totally off base. Sorry about that. All right, well, not grated yam, but Doc, it looks just the same. Yeah, well, I'm just going to blame this TV monitor in front of me. The size is too small. I can't see. Uh, anyway, <laughs> cream cheese. With anchovies. Anchovies, side. yeah. Now right. back with the challenger and Rooter high stepping his way over to the kitchen sink, getting into a bit more of an aggressive mode. Yeah, well, he's a top chef, you know, with a lot of experience, and he might have been a little nervous to, to start, but once he gets moving, he just goes nonstop the and whole way. What's being unloaded here? Potatoes, uh, I think. Potatoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But he was mixing some other things in there. You catch them? Yeah, well, I think onions. I'm not sure. All right. Oh, yeah. So blending mm -hmm. onions and potatoes. German style mm -hmm. potatoes. You're right, yeah. <laughs> yes. The information I have is that in this bowl, a sautéed ito yuri, or threadfin bream, has been added. Oh, already, though. In this? When did he do that? Well, they weren't onions then after all, maybe. So what wow. Would be. <laughs> that should taste great. Yeah. Huh? Looking like good old mashed potatoes from here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, back to Michiba, cutting up the matsutake mushrooms. Yeah, those are the most expensive mushrooms you can find in Japan. Well, Gourmets say they're the Fukuzan. most heavenly in the fall. Yes. Challenger Rooter asked one of his assistants to check out whether the item in the steamer was okay, but the assistant went over and started looking into the oven. Obviously, he didn't understand, so there's a real wall of difficulty in communication that he's facing here today. Back to you. Language difficulties arising. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, oh. Well, that, that's got to be a problem, I'm sure. Unfortunately, we do not have translators here in kitchens. Oh, watch out! Touched a hot one right there. Rooter getting a little burn from that pot. And maybe a little steamed at the difficulties he's encountered in getting his assistants to understand him. And now, 30 minutes gone, 30 minutes to go in the battle. The theme ingredient, the trademark item of the chairman, bell peppers, German-born Arthur Ruter against Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba, still hasn't given us his menu for the day in the steamer, now being employed on the Iron Chef side. This is made from eggs here. The custard then. Yeah, it's like uh, chewan mushi. Egg custard and broth. Yeah, that's what I think. But the question is how he's going to combine bell peppers with this. Right. Ah, oh, he's stuffing the bell peppers with that mix of potatoes and fish, right? Oh, Isn't really? that what he's doing? No? Yeah. yeah, he's got a squeezing bag, you know, for decorating cakes. Oh, yeah, you're things. right. Mm -hmm. Put the mm -hmm. squeeze on. Mm -hmm. So that means, fukui -san, you were right. Did I say that? Yeah, you did. Remember, you said he'd stuff the bell peppers. Good call. Way to go. Well, that'll raise my batting average just a little. <laughs> <laughs> well you're, actually, you're actually getting very good. Yeah, well, very good. among the sports announcers at Fuji TV, I guess I could say I'm number one when it comes to <laughs> food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, anyway, back to the cooking. Here, mm -hmm. the Iron Chef. I think this is Kuchiko. Okay, uh, now I know I've heard that one before, but uh, memory doesn't serve. Now, what, what is this one again? Um, Kuchiko is the row of sea cucumber. All right, how yeah. could I forget from the <laughs> sea cucumber? Exactly, yeah. All right, and the Kuchiko going in. Onto the chow mein Into the egg custard. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. That's very good. Yeah. Still no bell pepper in there, just to just a go with Kuchiko. Right, yeah. All yeah. right, now back to the challenger. He's pan frying his the beef Sounds here. of sizzle. Yeah, that's the filet mignon. No, I Simple think. enough, pan frying these steaks. He could be using bell peppers as a garnish for these, or the other way around. It could be bell peppers are the main item and the steaks are the garnish, I guess. Mm. Well, you, sure. you put the steaks in the, in the center of a plate and bell peppers around them. Does does that make it a bell pepper dish, uh, per se? I, I hear what you're saying, yeah. I'm I'm not too sure. Yeah, it would be more, more like a steak dish. Yeah, mm -hmm. so maybe what he'll have to do is something like a sauce. Okay, Michiba now, more finger work. Uh, what's this, yam potatoes? You sure this time? Yeah, that's yam potatoes. Okay, <laughs> with pieces of bell pepper in it. And 
and he's steamed it once and he's now chilling okay, it. Okay, so now this is in Good solid time. state. Right. Okay, go. Yeah, I mentioned uh, to Iron Chef Mishiba about the menu writing thing again, and he said, hey, I'll get to it when I get to it, but I'm not through with all the prep work yet. You know, he sounds a little tense at the moment. He's just playing with you over there, Ota, I think. You know, so sounds like he wants us to just go away. But the fact is, it's a departure from his norm, and uh, gotta wonder why. Dispensing mm -hmm. with the writing of his menu, which he always gets into early, perhaps a tactical decision today against this challenger. Speaking of whom, look at that. A couple one-two sauces right there. Yeah, I wonder what that one is. Most likely to paint with, and they'll add color to the dishes. Oh, okay. You're, you're right, it is definitely a sauce, though. Paint a picture, huh? Yeah, playing up the colors of the bell peppers today. Cousin? Yes? An update on the challenger. He looked at the clock a moment ago and mumbled the word impossible, which doesn't sound too good, but he did say it in Japanese. In Japanese? Oh, oh my. Oh, no. <laughs> Able to communicate some desperation with that, but I wonder in what sense is Deki Nai all about here for the dishes, or is it uh, the whole operation? Anyway, continuing to chop, go at it. This man who's got plenty of experience plying his craft all over the world, I'm sure he'll be able to pull it together somehow in these remaining minutes. Now back to Michiba. This was the item he was chilling right? earlier, the yam potatoes. Okay, could pour some sauce over these or, or leave them as is? I actually, I think he will pour something over it, yeah. Or maybe grated radish? Yeah, well, I'd prefer to use some sort of a thick sauce, like using kudzu starch. Okay, that would be nice. Mm, he was working on a sweet and sour sauce, I oh, think. Oh, was he? Well, that would be it then, yeah. All right. right. Okay, yeah. and that'd be using his broth as well, right? Oh, check this out, going into the blender now. This could, hmm. this could be a soup as well, you know? Go. Okay, and what a load with 20 minutes left. <laughs> it is a lot. Yeah. The volume there is suggesting it could be for a soup That's by the right. challenger. Yeah, definitely. All right, Rooster Kusan. taking that. Yes. I asked Iron Chef Michiba how many dishes he'll be making after all is said and done, and he replied, if I have time, I think I can pull off five. But, he cautioned, I'm still not through with everything. All right, and laying it down, there he is, Michiba, with this one. Oh, what is this, bean curd? Yuba. Okay, so bean curd. Got and red, red bell peppers in it. Yeah, and that could be lobster in there, too. That is lobster. I think that's the Japanese lobster in there. Okay. okay. And yes, okay. Michiba confirming that. Yeah, now let's take a look at the challenger here. This is the material for painting. Mm, all right. And Ruter right here becoming a painter of plates. These mm. sauces made from bell peppers, green and yellow, a couple of spoonfuls of each onto a plate. Yeah. Mm. yeah and that'll clear the theme requirement with oh, the yeah. sauces. Yeah, no problem there. And now looks like another sauce. Kuzan? Yes. Challenger Ruter is still in a panic. I asked him whether or not he thought he could finish on time. And with that intense look on his face, he just kept working and didn't even seem to notice me. All right. <laughs> and now a red sauce added as well. Two of the three primary colors there. And now to the Iron Chef plating and decorating this one, I believe, is red snapper. Yeah, and you can see the bell peppers there as well. Teriyaki flavored red snapper and bell peppers. Kusan? Yes. Iron Chef Michiba has confessed that his chawan mushi dish turned out too hard. We knew something was wrong when we heard the moaning and the huge sigh coming from his side of the stadium. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you can see some the dry holes there on the All surface. Right. Yeah, he steamed it too long. Bad news for Michiba. While the challenger looks like he feels he's a little pressed said he was going to have only three dishes though and by and large things are looking okay on their side although there was a little sign of exasperation yeah, you know, there. This is the Iron Chef side. He fried these. Fried them with the lobster meat, right? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Okay, lobster and bell peppers together, wrapped in bean curd sheets, now being deep fried by the Iron Chef. This would be his third, by my count, his third dish. You are right, yeah. Okay, and now Ruter Kerplunk right in the middle there. Ah, the steak he was working on earlier. Filet mignon. <laughs> yeah. Soaking up three different bell pepper sauces. Right, he's got all those sauces together. And what a unique treat this one should be for today's tasters. And the Iron Chef is adding matsutake mushrooms to the fish dish over there. Oh, yeah, yeah you're see? right. They're right in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ten minutes to so go. <laughs> she is looking wonderful there. Challenger, Rooter, he is hunkered down over his sauce-soaking filet mignon plates. He's not through with the bell peppers just yet. Check that out. Chopped up red bell peppers resting on top of the charred surface of the steaks, and he's really piling them on, too. Man alive. Oh, that looks good. Zooming in on that one, I can feel my stomach just ready to start growling. <laughs> Now on Michiba's side, they're off. Uh, yeah, the Uber roll. Deep fried. And now mm. Rooter slicing some bread here in the late going of the battle. Soup no bowl. Any idea? Uh, probably fry them for croutons. Croutons, okay. Yeah. And slicing off that crust quickly he is. Oh, the Iron Chef sauce is ready here, probably for that yam dish. Okay, Iron here. Chef refreshing himself and got a shot of the sauce. Here it is again, very thick, rich looking, slowly bubbling away while it was over at the stove. They takes it off now. 
It does have kudzu starch in it, right? No? I think. Oh, okay, I got it. I got Hold it. on, Ota. Standing by. The sauce he poured over the chawanmushi. Right, yeah, yeah. That's where it ends up, right here. Yeah, I was thinking that would be how it would So no up, yeah. bell peppers are mixed in the custard itself? No, none. Okay. And Ota, what do you have? Yeah, I was just going to say that the yam potato dish, the steamed yam potatoes, will be what served with a wasabi-flavored yeah. soy sauce. All right, oh, thanks. Oh, really? Okay. Well, that answers a lot of the, our questions. Okay, so the Iron Chef opting for a wasabi and soy sauce combo to go with the chilled yam potatoes and bell peppers package. And that would be dish number four that we can put him down for. Said he'd be trying for a fifth. We've got no idea about what he's thinking about for that. Meantime, Ruchter said he'd have three. Doc, do you, do you think he'll be able to get all three done in time? Um, how much time is left? We got about six minutes to go. Six minutes, huh? It's gone mm. fast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's using, uh, what is that, basil okay, now? Okay, looks, looks like, like some sauce. milk going in there, too. Yeah. And we know at least he's got the main dish ready, the steak. Yeah, and this sauce is usually for a fish. And liberal amount of butter. It's called monte. I've heard you say that before. Oh, you remember that? Yeah, somewhere in an earlier battle. It's to add a glossy finish to the Cuisine. sauce. Yes. <laughs> Evidently, the challenger's not the only one pressed for time. Iron Chef Michiba told me that he was planning five dishes, but after being questioned about the time again, he he said, I may not have enough of it to do an entire menu after all. All right, well, Michiba's going to ditch his menu writing today. Let's get over it, all right? None of the other Iron Chefs do it anyway, so we can live without it. Hey, I, we'll have to. He's got neither the time nor inclination, it appears, to write one up today. Actually, he seems to be in a bit of a funk. Have you noticed yeah, that, Doc? Yeah, yeah. All right, now back to the challenger. He could care less about writing a menu. He's got more urgent matters on his mind and just unloading something right there from the frying pan. This one here. Isn't this a soup? A yeah, soup? it looks like. Well, okay. I think so, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, oh that was from the um, from the blender. Yeah, right, he's blending right. this Okay, here. bell pepper soup. Mm. So if he chills that, it would be a mousse. So it's a soup then, I guess. Okay. okay, well then soup is done. So that means he has his three dishes done then. Okay, and he's got freshly made croutons floating on the surface of of the soup and look at this finally <laughs> Michiba rolling out the paper grabbing a brush and it certainly looks like he's gonna start writing his menu after all coming a little too late to be much help to us and uh, still not able to get it started <laughs> but I suppose it's his way of finding closure to his work on a set of dishes today I imagine, yeah. and now Michiba and assistants huddled over there can't see what they're dealing with meantime Ruter continuing to work three that sauce to three minutes to go is that the one? this is the man who had the title king of sauces during his tenure in Khan. now back to Michiba and with the cream cheese and bell pepper pieces this is his fifth okay yeah Number five. So five dishes in the books for the Iron Chef. This is the fifth one and the challenger now and the sauce out and down. This is the basil sauce dish. Right, right? Yeah, mm. yeah. And another artistic presentation coming oh. our way. Two colors. Okay, two colors. A uh, well, leaf. Oh, wait, not exactly. And with the leaf, oh, another shade so of green. And look mm, at that. Very oh, beautiful, yeah, isn't I see. it? It's okay. lovely. These are the stuffed bell peppers stuffed with a mashed mix of potatoes and fish. And he's got two dishes plus the soup. Wow. Yeah, and the <laughs> menu I noticed says bell peppers a la carte. That's for the Iron Chef right here, and if he'd let us in on that at the beginning, we wouldn't have been uh, <laughs> struggling so much today. Exactly, yeah. Two-minute warning, we get the info. <laughs> okay, thanks, Michiba-san. Very helpful. Today, Michiba writing his menu is his last order of business. The first time he's done that, calmly and coolly getting that done as if he's got nothing else to occupy his time the rest of the way. We are coming down to crunch time a minute to go now, and he doesn't even look up the final 60 seconds of this battle. Challenger side, they're still scurrying a bit, adding more yellow bell pepper sauce plopped on the side of the basil sauce dish. Rooter muttering impossible to himself earlier. Yeah, but it looks fine now. I think he's, he's come finished. back indeed. Yeah. Got it together, regrouping, focusing on what he had to do. The Iron Chef now finishing touches to the cream cheese anchovy on bell peppers. Very methodical about it, both sides of the kitchen. Of course, Michiba, having done it so many times, maybe he could work the clock in his sleep, but for the challenger, he struggled a bit to find his way, but now his foot Putting his firm and Ruter will be finishing on a high note while the Iron Chef is finishing his menu. A quick scan of the dishes on his side and oblivious to all the activity going on in his midst. Michiba, a picture of calm in the center of the storm. Upstairs, French and German embassy officials in attendance. That's a testament to the abilities of challenger Ruter and Michiba Five now seconds. losing the brush, exiting Three, stage right, two, the final seconds one. ticking down, and that's it. The cooking's done. The bell pepper battle is over. You seem to be really pressed for time. How do you feel now that the hour is over? Uh, well, it was very tough. To cook very good French food, you need to spend a lot of time. Uh -huh. One hour is really too short. So it was difficult then. I like doing intricate work a lot. Uh -huh. 
so I wanted more time. I understand. Doing it in just one hour is really tough. Will you win? Well, that is a very difficult question. <laughs> so you're not ready to say yet? No, I can't say. All right. You were finally able to write your menu at the end, but uh, that's how little time you had. How was that? Mm, yeah, well, I tried to do too much. I barely made it, finishing five dishes. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So how would you rate your dishes today, on points? Uh, as I always say, 96 points. 96? Great! Challenger Rooter is offering three dishes. First, red bell pepper soup, Hungarian style, with strained red and yellow bell peppers. The aroma of butter and the sweetness of bell peppers both give body to this blended soup. Stuffed red bell pepper with basil sauce, a natural for the German-born chef, choosing to use mashed potatoes with fish for the stuffing in the bell peppers. Last is beef medallion steak. It's his intention to express the subtle differences in flavor of the different colored bell peppers in the sauces. Iron Chef Michiba is offering five dishes. First, bell peppers and yam cake, created by grating yam and adding chopped bell peppers. Wasabi and soy sauce match well with its gentle texture. Five color bell pepper sauce on chawanmushi. The dash of ginger that he adds makes for a refreshing experience. Lobster and anchovy cream on bell peppers. The use of mayonnaise in the cream adds just a touch of soothing sourness to the dish. Bell pepper sticks with matsutake and grilled snapper. It's a pleasant and aromatic dish, which is flavored by soy sauce and sweet cooking sake. Last is fried bell peppers and prawns. The Iron Chef offers another angle to celebrate the essence of bell peppers by highlighting their crispy texture in this dish. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment for the bell pepper battle. On the panel today are copywriter Shigesato Itoi, actress Kazuko Kato, and Rosanjin scholar Masaaki Hirano. First, the dishes of Challenger Rooter. He'll begin by serving his soup. I thought this would be slightly bitter, but the aroma of the bell peppers was so nice, and now they're sweet in my mouth. This soup just spreads in my mouth so vividly. There's nothing that puzzles you. I just want to keep it in my mouth as long as possible, you know what I mean? I'm wishing to let it linger in my mouth even longer as it cascades down my throat. I really feel somehow like a chosen person, being permitted to enjoy this great food. This has opened my eyes. To create his flavor, well, he has not used any tacky techniques at all. So straightforward, such a finely finished dish. You have to understand how much expertise there is in the background in making of a dish like this. Thank you very much, so. I think the meat is just a tool in this dish to enjoy the sauce. A steak to enjoy bell peppers. A reverse approach. Another eye-opener. Thank you very much. I have discovered something. What have I discovered? Well, this man has many techniques, but he has chosen to stay modest, not showing off those techniques, while offering such straightforward dishes. This is how cooking should be. I was very much reminded of that today. I am so impressed today. Up until now, I always thought bell peppers were just for garnishes, and yet, so by seeing another angle and the potential and diversity of this profound ingredient, how should I say this? Well, I might sound a little like Hirano-san, but here goes. <laughs> I think the bell peppers are feeling happy. I'm sure. <laughs> Exactly right. If I could add to what Itoi-san said, he gave a purpose to the life of the bell peppers. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> and now up the dishes of Iron Chef Michiba. The textures and 
everything are so different from the Challenger's dishes. I noticed earlier that he was finely mincing the bell peppers. He intended to maximize just the aroma of the peppers, and it matches well with the soy and with the wasabi. It's perfect match. The bell pepper most certainly is playing a central role in this dish. The fact that he is able to use bell peppers like this confirms to me that this man is not going to be easy to take down, huh? This ingredient was at a disadvantage in Japanese cuisine. I know that, but, you know, perhaps... Well, now, I'm not saying this is bad, but I'm inclined to say that among the dishes you've created, Michibasan, this is maybe too creative. This one is well-balanced in terms of creativity and finished taste. Well, you could ask, is this Japanese food? But this surely is an answer from the Iron Chef that if you cook bell pepper in Japan, it would have to be done just like this dish right here. I know I can't make this at home, but bell peppers and lobsters are very much available to us. And I think it's a great idea to use the bean curd sheets to wrap them. Today you chose to do the menu later. I think that tells us that you were not in a good rhythm today. Among the dishes I tried, I see very good ones and some not so good ones. Of course, let me repeat again. Um, a normal chef would <coughs> never ever be able to pull off something like this. He has showed us his great skill and experience once again. レシピを集め続けてきた挑戦者。今日彼が作った料理はその最高位になると思われます。そしてこのキッチンスタジアムで作られた料理の中でもトップクラスではないかと思います。それでは発表します。Today, a German-born French cuisine artist, more than just impressing us, moving us with his skills, original recipes, and commitment to his craft. Challenger Ruter, his presentation, use of color, also putting the squeeze on the other side. Iron Chef Michiba operating out of his comfort zone. Will he find comfort now? Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Challenger Ruter! And that alone tells you how good Ruter had to be and the men embracing and a long heartfelt embrace. What a battle today. The accumulation of Ruter's experience all over the world and in his hands bringing life to the bell peppers in his dishes and a win over the seemingly invincible Michiba. Congratulations. Thank you. One of the best battles we've witnessed in Kitchen Stadium history won today by Arthur Ruter. And what a scene this is. You gotta love it. That's what it's all about. They're both winners today.